Tad. It's Maximus here this time with a quick review of this Sherman Clove Classic Original, I would say, bench top tool chest. This is the one I had uh, just shown in that previous video with the, about the Kennedy Machinist toolbox. And this is a similar unit, but more geared for mechanics versus machinists. And uh, it's not a bad box. It's a shame SK doesn't make boxes like this at all anymore. Um, it's definitely pretty nice. A little bit deeper. It turned out that Kennedy had a bit more volumetric space, but this SK probably weighs nearly the same, even though it's uh, there's some design differences. I do like the handles. They are a bit heavier duty and they're rounded, so they're not quite as sharp as they were on the Kennedy. Besides that, it is similar where you lift up the lid and then it has a front cover. The front cover is double wall on the Kennedy. It's only single wall on the SK. But I'll have to say, if you get a real close look, the crinkle paint on these vintage SKs uh, was thicker than it was on the Kennedy's. Really some of the nicest crinkle paint I've ever seen. So the cover does slide into the unit, and in this unit, versus, also versus the Kennedy, the cover goes all the way in flush. Now I've modified this. The way it was set up, the drawers had some corrugations in the back so that they would kind of spring outwards and put pressure on this lid to reduce it rattling around, I guess if you had it in a truck or something. But it was so annoying to pop this open and to have this thing just come crashing down. Uh, I really didn't like that design, so I did modify that. Come on, get in there. Anyway, being more of a mechanics chest, we actually have two tapered uh, dividers here for sockets. We have another divider here. It has a lift-out tray, which I thought was really uh, pretty innovative, being able to have, you still have a lift-out socket tray with a bigger area around it. And then you have two large drawers, a deeper drawer with one kind of divider area here, and then a shallower drawer with three sections. I think this was part, this actually came with this toolbox. And I should mention here, there are differences in SK logos. And on these really nice boxes, you can see that it's actually a gold SK logo, which is one of the rarest ones, those gold logos. But you know it's an original SK when it actually says Sherman Clove on it. And so it had a small box that was a similar thing. Small area for smaller sockets. I think this was just some kind of smaller socket set, but it kind of acts as the, a similar thing. It is of the appropriate vintage. You can see this one just has a copper logo. It's not a gold logo. So I thought that was pretty nice. And a nice touch to this because it actually makes it more convenient because you can have a bunch of tools in here and be able to pull it out and just use those as a carry along with the tray. And then have some other stuff in here. So that's kind of what a mechanics drawer type tool chest looks like uh, from SK. And they were made pretty nice. They were really easily... Uh, the same quality as Kennedy, but in different areas. They use much better uh, Excelsior brand latches, uh, which are really premium latches. Um, and once again, the dividers and the way the whole the drawers and the tray are set up is more for mechanics. And it's it's uh, another thing I really liked is there's actually a couple little gussets right up here in the corner of the lid. So when you shut the lid, it always shuts flat and doesn't have the tendency to want to like crunch down in either corner if you stack stuff on it because it has these guts that's, that sit right here on each corner of the, of the toolbox. And I really like the, that attention to detail. This uses a hinge which prevents it from going too far back. It doesn't use the connecting rods kind of or arms like the Kennedy does. But that makes more sense in a box where you can have a bunch of heavy stuff that may be bouncing around. Those type of connecting arms would easily get beat up. So, um, it's a shame SK doesn't make toolboxes like this anymore. Um, not all SK didn't sell a lot of toolboxes because they were pr pretty expensive and people were more after the tools rather than the, the large toolboxes. So, I'm glad I was able to find this one and share it with you all and show that... Uh, SK, once again, 
some of their original Sherman Clove branded stuff really was just really top notch SK and is what made their name and they're still good now but they've been bought and resold and everything so many times uh, they're a pretty far cry from the era that this box was made in and it's sort of a shame that even though they're still around they're not making these kinds of boxes because these things were really nice you can easily just stand on these things and walk around on it really pretty nice unit anyway I really appreciate everybody who's been walking or walking, watching and subscribing and commenting. And if you haven't uh, watched, subscribed or commented, please do all three. Until next time, Caddis Maximus out.